Thank you. Please remain standing. Congratulations, you made it! In keeping with the spirit of this auspicious ceremony, and out of respect for all of our graduates, uh, please be sure to turn off your cell phones and uh, we'll move ahead. Furthermore, out of courtesy, I ask that all graduates remain in their seats after crossing the stage and remain there until the end of the ceremony. Please note that no diplomas will be distributed in the Commonwealth College Center until after the ceremony. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Maureen Ryan Estes, a member of the class of 2009, earning the Associates in Arts degree in Communication. Maureen will sing the Star Spangled Banner, and Maureen will be assisted by three students, Melissa Alves, Maria Carrera, and Erica Rodericks from the Deaf Studies Program. They will perform the National Anthem in American Sign Language. Maureen Ryan Estes.
so proudly we hailed at the twilight less gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still Say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Maureen Ryan Esses, class of 2009. Thank you. Please be seated. On behalf of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, and the class of 2009, I am pleased to open the 42nd Annual Commencement Exercises of Bristol Community College. I will now introduce the members of the platform party and ask them to stand and be recognized. Starting to my left, Mr. Fernando Garcia, the honored recipient of Bristol Community College's 2009 Distinguished Citizen Award. Mr. Donald Smith, Chair of the Board of Trustees. Mr. Carl Cruz, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees. You should know that Trustee Cruz is celebrating his 40th anniversary as a graduate of Bristol Community College. He has served two terms on the Board of Trustees and today probably marks one of his last official events as a trustee, although I'm sure that he will continue to render his valuable services on behalf of BCC. Please join with me to congratulate Trustee Carl Cruz. <laughs> Continuing on the platform, Dr. Sarah L.D. Garrett, Vice President of Academic Affairs. To my right, Mr. Stephen Ozog, Vice President of Students and Enrollment Management. <laughs> Zelma Braga, Member of the Board of Trustees. <laughs> Attorney James Grady, Secretary, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Sharon Davis, Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs. Gloria Sadler, student trustee and member of the class of 2009. <laughs> Joseph Marshall, member of the Board of Trustees. <laughs> Cynthia Rose, member of the Board of Trustees. <laughs> Arthur Paul, alumni trustee of the Board of Trustees. Dr. Ronald Schwartz, member of the Board of Trustees. The second row to my right, 
Mr. Tyler Hill, valedictorian of the class of 2009. <laughs> Dr. Eileen Sinnott, professor of biology, who will present the last lecture. <laughs> Sir Thomas Murray, member of the Board of Trustees. Professor James Constantine, retired professor of chemistry and biology and grand marshal for today's commencement. <laughs> Dr. Catherine Adamowitz, professor and department chair of English and Humanities and coordinator of elementary education. <laughs> Dr. Alan Powers, professor emeritus, retired professor of English. Ms. Santita Castellano, President, Student Senate, Class of 2012. <laughs> Joanne Preston, Dean of Humanities and Education. <laughs> Suzanne Bosano, Dean of Developmental Education. <laughs> Third row to my right, Professor Jean Grandchamp, Professor of English and President of the BCC Faculty and Professional Staff Senate. Dr. David Ward, Professor Emeritus, Retired Professor of Biology and Chemistry. <laughs> Patricia Dent, Dean of Health Sciences. <laughs> Tafa Awalaju, Vice President of Human Resources and Affirmative Action. <laughs> Joanne Pelletier, Vice President of Information Technology Services. Phoebe Blackburn, Acting Dean for Business and Information Management. Rhonda Gabovich, Vice President of Institutional Research, Planning and Assessment. Teresa Romanovich, Dean of the New Bedford Campus. Kathleen Torpy Garganta, Dean of the Attleboro Center. Michael Vieira, Acting Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs. The fourth row to my right, Nancy Rosario, President of the Bristol Community College Alumni Association and Alum Class of 1989. Paulette Howarth, Assistant Professor of Clinical Lab Sciences and MCCC President. Dr. Peter Schuyler, Dean for Mathematics, Science, and Engineering. <laughs> Dr. Frederick Rocco, Dean of Behavioral and Social Sciences. <laughs> I would also like to introduce our American Sign Language interpreters, Genevieve Copley, Jonathan Brown Henry, and Cynthia Ramos. <laughs> Thank you. Faculty. You have heard me say many times that you are the most important part of this institution. A college is only as good as its faculty. I reemphasize that sentiment today as a rededication of my commitment to you and a promise to you of the support and affirmation for your glorious efforts by everyone else at the college. Your creativity informs your teaching. Your enthusiasm for learning infects your students. You teach and you inspire. As Wordsworth so eloquently described it, what we have loved, others will love, and we will teach them how. Please recognize at this time the BCC faculty and professional staff whose fine teaching and support have made this commencement possible for the graduates. Faculty and staff, would you please rise and be recognized. Thank you for your great work. I would also like to pay a special tribute to our Bristol Community College Foundation. These dedicated people have volunteered their time and talent to provide increasing support annually for scholarships 
textbook loans, capital funds, and campus grants for equipment, special projects, and professional development. There are students graduating today who would not have been able to complete their requirements without the assistance of a foundation scholarship or loan. My thanks also to everyone who has contributed to the work of the foundation. Thank you very much, VCC Foundation. One other thing, I call your attention to in the note to the commencement, in the commencement program about our efforts to make this a green graduation. Also, please note, uh, at the far end of the parking lot, uh, we have a wind measuring machine to gauge the possibility of installing a wind turbine to save the college energy cost. We have three, not one or two, but we have three beehives be careful now, as part of our con conservation program. So we'll, I think uh, we'll be selling honey afterwards, I'm not sure. And, it, and that is part, uh, by the way, of something uh, much more serious, the soon-to-be site of our organic farm and community garden, right out to the end of the parking lot out that way. <laughs> Sustainability, that's a key word today. Sustainability is woven into the VCC fabric. As befits the nature of an academic institution, our students and every member of our BCC family are adapting to this changing world. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Donald Smith, Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Thank you, President Spraga. Look at all this brain power out here. This is great. Each year, under the laws of the Commonwealth, a student trustee elected by the student body joins the Board of Trustees. We have been most fortunate to have Ms. Gloria Sadler as a student representative during this year. In her role as trustee, she served as a liaison between the Board and the Student Senate. Ms. Sadler has been a full-time liberal arts professional option student. She is an honors student and has been active in Phi Theta Kappa. Many of you have seen her leading groups of prospective students around campus as she served as student ambassador. Gloria has been act, an active member of the Academic Standards Committee and the African American History Month Committee. Gloria also volunteers as a certified tutor in BCC's GED program. And most recently, she has been appointed to the Massachusetts Department of Higher Education's segmental advisor position. In this position, Gloria will serve as the community college advisor to the student representative on the Massachusetts Board of Higher Education. Ms. Sadler intends to complete a few more courses here at Bristol Community College before she transfers to a baccalaureate program. She is already taking a class at Harvard and will continue there with a focus on education, sociology, and sustainability. We have no doubt that she will make many outstanding contributions there, there as she has done here. Gloria, please accept this token of our gratitude of a job well done. Honored guests, faculty, staff, family, friends, and most especially the class of 2009. It is my privilege to welcome you to this commencement. Congratulations. We're all very proud of you and your considerable accomplishments. Every class, every paper, every classroom debate and difficult exam, every oral report, every practicum, all are the building blocks that have led you to this day. It is through your intellect, your endurance, your drive, and your stamina that you are here today, and I congratulate you. Let's stay for a moment with those themes of initiative and persistence. Not everyone understands or appreciates the mission of the community colleges to provide access as well as quality and affordability. I want to illustrate for you how important persistence is as well as the educational opportunities available at Bristol Community College. 
Also, please keep in mind that for many of our students, earning an associate's degree in two years' time is simply not a realistic option. Now, let's try a little experiment. I invite all graduates who are the first in their families to attend any college or university to stand. Anyone the first to go to college in your family? <laughs> stay standing, stay standing. Please stay standing. These are called first-generation college students. By the way, please raise your hands if you are in the first in your immediate family to have earned a high school degree or GED. Anyone first in their family for a high school degree? Congratulations. <laughs> Stay standing. Congratulations to each of you. You have overcome formidable challenges in breaking a melancholy cycle. Let us hope that today, with this accomplishment, you are starting a new cycle of edu educational attainment for your family and for generations to come. You are setting new precedents for all of your relatives, neighbors, and friends. Each of you is a role model. We are all very proud of you. Now, please remain standing. Uh, in addition, another point to be made, uh, community colleges are commonly referred to as two-year colleges. But I wonder how true that is. Would all of the graduates please rise? All of them. Thank you. We're going to try a little experiment. Now, would all of the graduates who actually completed their academic goal in just two years please sit? So, are we really a two-year institution? Would all the graduates who completed in three years please sit? This marks the 150 percent time threshold, three years for a community college, in which students, which is used in gauging so-called successful completion rates by external observers, who apparently don't know anything about community college education. But is that 150 percent a fair performance measure for either Bristol Community College or these persevering students that you still uh, see still standing figuratively and literally in front of us? Each of these students has a heartwarming story of success to tell to those so-called external experts. Of those still standing, how many completed your goal in less than 10 years? Please sit. Look at that, there's still people. We applaud you. Now, is there anyone with, uh, took more than 15 years? Please, all right, congratulations to you. Thank you. It's a vivid demonstration. Thank you very much. Now, for all the graduates, uh, would you please raise your hands to the following questions. How many of you work full-time or part-time while pursuing your studies here? Wow. <laughs> How many have children? Any grandparents? All right. <laughs> Any great grandparents? Any great grandparents? Okay. Well, thank you very much. We're all very proud of you. As you can see, it is a misnomer to describe community colleges as two year institutions. Community college students who have the goal of earning a degree or certificate or specialized training and actually do so, irrespective of the amount of time on task, deserve high praise, not criticism. Instead of overemphasizing beat the clock time frames, we should rejoice for all these high achievers and we congratulate you. Graduates, how many times in your career at BCC did you feel frustrated and hopeless and lost and perhaps even ready to quit? 
but you stayed the course, and today look at the overpowering result, the affirmation of all those dark moments linked with single-minded purpose. For all that you have accomplished, you did not travel alone. It is only through the support of others that accompanied you on your journey that you have been able to come to this day. Please, graduates, join me to recognize them now. And first, I want to recognize the graduates' families and friends and support network. You, too, have achieved something important today. Your loved one has achieved a goal, and, unlike good, and like good teammates, you have been enablers that made that happen. They couldn't have done it without you, and for that, I thank you and congratulate you as well. And I invite the graduates to extend their appreciation to these special people. Another team who supported you in your journey is comprised of our faculty and staff. They challenged you, drove you, and made you work harder than perhaps you ever worked before. But in the process, they changed you. They believed in you even when at times you may not have believed in yourself. Both in and out of the classroom, you encountered their collective commitment to nurture and to challenge. Simply put, BCC faculty and staff are the best. Their commitment to instruction and instructional support are two highest priorities at BCC, set our great institution apart in this world of higher education. They believe in your success. Once again, I'd like to ask the faculty and staff to please rise and be recognized for their crucial role in the reason for this day's celebration. <laughs> faculty and staff. Thank you. This great institution has provided you not with all the knowledge that you will ever need, but rather with the appreciation of knowledge itself and an understanding of all that remains yet undone. The world continues to change at a rapidly accelerating and dizzying pace. Precisely because we live in such a rapidly changing world, much of what you have learned, particularly in technical and career fields, will soon be out of date. It is your understanding of the learning process that will provide future solutions. You must keep up in this age of lifelong learning for your own good and for that of this society. We meet in unsettled times. Much to our dismay and disappointment, shots continue to be fired in anger abroad as well as with disturbing frequency on our streets at home. Furthermore, we find ourselves in the throes of an economic crisis the likes of which have not been seen since the Great Depression of the 1930s. Fuel prices and the costs of higher education spiral upwards in disturbing, per disturbingly persistent patterns. Similarly, unemployment, unpaid furloughs, and unanticipated shortfalls continue to plague our society. You are graduating and moving forward amidst this melancholy context. But never has there existed a greater national lead than now for you. Among other lessons, this fiscal trauma has taught us the dire consequences of immoral, illegal, and unethical behavior. The extreme hardships created by these evil forces stubbornly persist across the nation. Unbridled greed enticed individuals who knew better to stray from their moral compasses. Yet you bring a renaissance of hope with you. I frequently proclaim that our goal at BCC is not simply to produce for the Commonwealth good citizens who are informed. Rather, our purpose is to produce informed citizens who make ethical choices. There is an anxious need out there for you to demonstrate those wonderful qualities that you have learned at BCC. Seize those opportunities. By putting into practice what you have learned here, you will axiomatically stand out in the community. Unfortunately, too, many others were exposed to valuable lessons, but deliberately chose to ignore them for the chimera of the fast buck and narcissistic garlands. Do not be beguiled by false promises. Stand firmly on your principles and ethics, and you will prevail as you fly through this stormy weather. Make this world a better place. 
you can do it. And as you launch the next phases of your life journey, you have our very best wishes. Congratulations. The President's Award, known as the Mason Shield, is presented each year to a graduate who has rendered the highest quality service to the college and who has demonstrated outstanding leadership. The name of the recipient is inscribed on a plaque which is located permanently at the college. I am pleased to present the President's Award to Fabian Andre, Associate in Arts in General Studies, Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Service learning at Bristol Community College engages students in community volunteer activities for academic credit. Students who have performed a number of service learning projects and have served as project leaders are designated as community service leaders. Will this year's service learning leaders please stand to be recognized? <laughs> service learning. Moreover, the Commonwealth Honors Program at Bristol Community College offers qualified students with enhanced opportunities for academic enrichment. These students have met the graduation requirements of the Commonwealth Honors Program, a program that has earned special recognition from the state, and are recognized today as Commonwealth Honors Program Scholars. Will these Honors Program graduates please stand to be recognized? I'm also very pleased to recognize a number of graduates who received transfer merit scholarships from a number of colleges and universities. Would all graduates who have received transfer merit scholarship please stand as we offer you our heartiest congratulations. <laughs> scholarship winners, continue your education. Each year at our commencement exercises, we recognize academic excellence by honoring those students who graduate from the college with an outstanding academic record. Students may graduate cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. To achieve summa cum laude requires a minimum grade point average of 3.8 out of a possible 4.0. And this year, a number of graduates have actually earned a perfect record, a straight A 4.0 average for their entire career at BCC. Will these graduates please stand up? Perfect A, the 4.0 graduate. Congratulations on your extraordinary accomplishment. 4.0, very proud of you. Each year, the valedictorian is chosen from academically high achieving students who demonstrate outstanding student leadership and community commitment. Tyler Hill of Fall River graduated from the Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, and Ventilation Program at Diamond Regional Vocational Technical High School in 2007. He came to Bristol Community College to explore careers and discovered his future in a dissection lab. He is an Eagle Scout, and in the fall, he will enter the Physician's Assistant Program, very rigorous program, at Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Please welcome our valedictorian of the class of 2009, Mr. Tyler Hill. How's everybody doing today? I bet you guys are all ready to graduate, right? Oh, come on, no? Oh, there we go. All right. I'd like to start off by thanking President Spraga 
the professors, the staff, and of course the graduates for allowing me to speak as Bristol Community College's valedictorian for the graduating class of 2009. Thank you, it's truly an honor. Bristol Community College has a mission, as does every other college. BCC's mission is to provide programs that support the, area the area's economic health and well-being and enable individuals to make the best possible life choices. These programs have a strong basis in the liberal arts and sciences, which allow students to create their own paths. I have a story to tell of the path that I followed thanks to Bristol Community College. I came to Bristol Community College not knowing where I wanted to go in my career. I had just graduated from Diamond Vocational High School and was skilled in the heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration shop. Upon graduation, I could have easily have gotten a job, but I soon came to realize that this work was not something that I wanted to do. <clears throat> and that, in fact, coming here to a community college would and into a college in general would take me much farther in my life. I came to BCC hoping that I would find myself and who I was to become. In the liberal arts program, I was able to fulfill the general requirements all while taking an electives to get a feel for the different areas of study. After two semesters, I realized that I had a love for the sciences. I took Bio 33 and 34, Human Anatomy and Physiology, and it was in Bio 33 where I dissected my first pig. <laughs> the Russian excitement of learning about the pig and how similar its physiology is to that of us humans really amazed me. I love dissecting the pig and learning about all of its organs and its purposes. Now, as I look into the audience, I'm starting to see some people looking a little faint, so I think I'll stop there with the talk of the pig dissections. I was like a kid with his first chocolate bar. It was love at first sight. <laughs> All right. I realized that I had made the perfect choice of colleges, and BCC allowed me to explore a multitude of classes before having to declare a major. I talked with my science and math professors and looked into medicine. It was here at BCC where I first realized that I would eventually love to become a surgeon. It was also at BCC's first college day where I learned about Massachusetts College of Pharmacy. I am proud to say that a couple of weeks ago, I received notice that I have been accepted to Mass College of Pharmacy, and not only have I been accepted, hold on, <laughs> but I have been accepted into the Physician Assistant Program and will be starting in the fall. I stand here before you, the graduating class of 2009, not only as a student, but as your classmate. Anything is possible when you put your mind to it. No dream is unattainable. Those are the words I would hear from my mother all the time. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I came to BCC with my mind all over the place, but the professors and staff, the advisors, people such as Ann Ibarra, Eileen Shea, Steve Ozug, and Michelle and Bill Kelly, only to mention a few, have helped me tremendously time and time again. I'm pretty positive I annoyed most of them in my pursuit to, be, uh, to better myself and to achieve greatness, and for that I'd like to say sorry, but, there's a but, I would also like to thank them because without them I would still be lost. They opened my eyes to the great campus programs, such as the Commonwealth Honors Program. There we go. <laughs> a program that challenges the students to not only take regular classes, but to also engage in rigorous, mind-boggling classes and complete the dreaded long semester project. <laughs> Phi Theta Kappa is another great program, and I am a proud member of our local chapter. The point of this was to let you see that being a college student is not only coming to class every day, taking tests, and doing homework, but to open your eyes so that you can see that you can be a part of your college by partaking in the different groups. It is the same way with work. There is always a way to feel like you belong, and searching for that way is part of the learning process. 
So as weird as this may sound, the pig's body, yeah, I'm going to talk about the pig again. The pig's body represents our graduating class as a whole. And I say this, not in a bad way, but all of its organs function differently in order to maintain the, organ, uh, the body's overall health and strength. As a graduating class, we all do the same thing. Each and every one of us fuels each other. We motivate our classmates and friends to keep up, to not drop out, and to work hard. When one starts slacking, we tell them to stop, to hang in there, and that the semester's almost over. Why do we do this? Because we know in the end it'll all pay off. Yes, there may be a great deal of work involved, but nothing in life comes easy. BCC has prepared us to go out into the world with degrees or certificates. BCC has given us the knowledge and resources to continue our educations, to go on to other colleges and universities, to continue our studies in order to get a bachelor's degree. More important, BCC has provided each and every one of us with hope in order to carry on. Before I stop talking, I would like to leave everyone with a few words of encouragement and a quote. Each and every one of you will soar like an eagle. Don't let anyone keep you down. And now, a quote from Orrin Hatch. There is a good reason why they call these ceremonies commencement exercises. Graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Just because you will walk across this stage in a little while doesn't mean that it's the end of the road. In fact, I hope that it isn't. I hope that everyone goes on to another school to get their bachelor's degree, or even a master's, or a PhD, or, you know, MD, like I hopefully feel to do in a sim. <laughs> Actually, I challenge everyone, when the time is right, to go back and to go to another school and to continue on and get a degree. Education is the key to success. I know that all of us want to be successful and, you know, be millionaires all at once. So, work hard, rock stars. Your time to shine will come. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Congratulations, class of 2009. You will all be great. Thank you. Tyler Hill, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for those inspiring words, Tyler. And also, recently the college received a scholarship donation of $1,000 from the American Association of Community Colleges in Washington, D.C., and I'm happy to announce that this scholarship will be awarded to our valedictorian, Tyler Hill. Congratulations, Tyler. I'm surprised, Tyler. I don't have it. <laughs> I am pleased now to introduce Santita Castellano, Student Senate President. Each year, the Bristol Community College Student Senate honors one outstanding faculty member who has affected students' education in their lives in a meaningful way. Nominations requiring detailed information about the educator's role are solicited from all potential graduating students. The selected faculty member is presented with the last lecture award. This year's recipient is Dr. Eileen Sennett, Professor of Biology. first told that I had been selected to give the last lecture here at graduation, my first reaction was, oh no, there must be some mistake. <laughs> Besides, I'm retiring. This can't be possible. When I was assured that this was not a case of mistaken identity, my second reaction was to go into full-scale 
panic mode, which I do really well. <laughs> I mean, I'm a biology professor. Most people don't even like biology, with, with the exception, <laughs> perhaps, of Tyler and a few of you. So I knew that this was not a subject that I could talk about. But then as the panic eventually faded, somewhat, and the EMTs that had gathered around were told, no, it's okay, the crazy bioprof is not going to have a heart attack, I realized that this was a truly great honor, and I can't thank you enough for choosing me. Thus, I accepted and set forth to come up with a topic that would appeal to an audience as diverse as you, our graduating students, your friends, your families, our faculty, and our staff. Because I was pretty sure the things that interested me, that really excited me, like DNA and evolution and cellular biochemistry, or even plants and lichens and birds and amphibians. Somehow, I had the idea that this would not be accepted with huge amounts of enthusiasm and foot stomping. And so, as it turns out, after much deliberation and more panic attacks, I was finally able to narrow this the last lecture <laughs> down to 12 topics, and they should take, I don't know, about two, two and a half hours. <laughs> but I know no one's in any hurry, so. No, seriously, I narrowed it down to one topic, and that is this. Try to simplify your lives and connect with nature. Try turning off your television even if it is tuned in to a nature show. <laughs> Don't just watch a show about whales or birds or the secret lives of plants or climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. That doesn't count. Go on a whale watch. Go on a bird watch. Go hiking. Go on a trail in a nature conservancy. Hike up a mountain. Those things, they do count. So unplug your iPods. Stop constantly checking your emails and your texts and tweets and Twitters. Try to disconnect so that you can reconnect to nature, but also to one another. <laughs> wow. OK. Because we are not computers. We are not machines. We are biological entities. And we need time to play, to consider, to reconsider. We need quiet time. We need peaceful time. Time to reflect and dream. Time without being bombarded by all kinds of electronic images and sounds. Now, I know I seem sort of like a wacko, <laughs> but to me, I would much rather walk to school than drive to school. Because while I'm walking, I'm thinking, I'm reflecting, I'm looking around me, I'm seeing plants, I'm seeing flowers, I'm hearing birds sing, 
and I try my best to communicate with them, making what I think are great imitations of their calls. Or I'm watching snowflakes flutter around me, wondering why school hasn't been called off, <laughs> and hoping that later on, there'll be enough snow so that I can cross-country ski. Or I'm listening to raindrops falling on the hood of my raincoat, dreaming about camping in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. And the reason why that I can dream about these things is because I'm not texting. I'm not looking at my emails. I don't have a cell phone plastered to my ear. And I'm not racing down the highway in the left lane trying to get by all the cars as they try to get by all the cars in front of them. I am not distancing myself from the real world. So I guess that's the gist of my last lecture. Disconnect some of those electronic gadgets. Separate yourselves from them, at least for a little while. Turn off your televisions. Put your computers on hold. Get some quiet time. Do a little dreaming. Get outdoors and explore. Turn over a log and see what's underneath it. Don't be afraid of nature. You're part of it. And don't be afraid to take a biology course somewhere down the line, just in case you decide that maybe you would like to learn about DNA and cellular biology and birds and lichens and plants and amphibians. Because you know what? There is a whole world out there that is so interesting and so exciting and just waiting to be discovered by you. <laughs> and so before I leave, I'd like to congratulate all of you, our graduates, and to wish you the best of luck in the future. And I'd like to just add that although I was so nervous about getting this honor, I can't tell you what a wonderful way this is for me to end my teaching career here at BCC. Thank you. Thank you, Eileen. This year, we are honoring two of our outstanding retired faculty members, Professors Alan Powers and David War, by designating each of them Professor Emeritus. Faculty peers select these individuals for this honor. This is an honorary title, which corresponds to the position last held during active service. I am pleased to introduce Dr. Katherine Adamowitz, Professor of, and Department Chair of English and Humanities and Coordinator of Elementary Education, who will read the citation for Professor Emeritus Alan Powers. Thank you, Dr. Sprague. It is a huge honor for me to have been asked by Dr. Powers to read his award. Um, I think I would be remiss, though, if not taking just a minute or two to um, explain something that Dr. Empowers and I have thought about, talked about, 
argued about um, during department meetings, and that is the meaning of emeritus. The Oxford English Dictionary gives this meaning. The title given to a university professor who has retired from the office. So in a way, it's ironic, given that Dr. Powers and I both think this is the def definition of emeritus, that he is receiving this award, uh, which is competitive at BCC, uh, which is quite different from the original centuries old meaning. Um, and it's ironic that I'm reading the award because according to the old definition, every professor who has retired from office after a certain number of years and in good standing deserves this award. <laughs> that having been said, Everyone is unique, and certainly Dr. Powers is no exception, and I will read his award. A prolific writer and respected scholar, you devoted yourself to teaching a vast array of genres and interdisciplinary courses while infusing your students with your own enthusiasm and passion for literature. Urbane, literary, and gifted with a sharp and insightful wit, you generously shared your knowledge and your spirit to inspire others. By doing so, you made Bristol Community College a better place. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very aware of the honor, and I thank you for it and its emoluments. Dr. Alan Powers, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Emeritus. I'm pleased now to introduce Jean Grandchamp, Professor of English and President of the BCC Faculty and Professional Staff Senate, who will read the citation for Professor Emeritus David War, Dr. David War and Professor Jean Grandchamp. Thank you, Dr. Sprague. David War, PhD, Professor Emeritus of Biology and Chemistry, esteemed colleague, member of the Bristol Community College Faculty and Professional Staff Senate, instrumental in creating a strong union. You have always had the talent to charm and to exasperate and all in a single sentence. <laughs> but your legendary bullheadedness comes always in service to our students. And now the real citation. <laughs> Professor David War, the champion of high standards throughout the curriculum, you demanded much from your students and your colleagues but never more than you demanded from yourself. Empowered by your goals and expectations and tutelage, students mastered complex material that enabled them to think critically. Forthright and outspoken, you remain a stalwart advocate for students and faculty and for fostering the learning community that is Bristol Community College. May 30th, 2009. Congratulations, David.
Well, I, I'd like to say uh, a lot, but uh, I'll just say a couple of things. I'd like to thank all of you who, who are here to share this honor with me. And I want to pay, pay particular uh, honor and, and attention to uh, my students, some of whom are here, uh, former students, some who have been very recent. But it has always been my pleasure to uh, work with students and uh, try to get you to appreciate the joy of, of chemistry and biology that I, that I have. So uh, thank you so much, and I truly do appreciate the honor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The waiting, I think, is there. I'm going to put this on the okay. I think I'm going to put I would like now to call upon Do uh, Mr. Donald Smith, Chair of the Board of Trustees, who will present the 2009 Bristol Community College Distinguished Citizen Award. Chairman Smith. Thank you. Each year, the Board of Trustees honors an individual who has made a distinguished contribution in the field of health education, business, labor, government, or the arts, and whose character and achievements have enriched the life of our community. This year, the board has selected Mr. Fernando Garcia. Mr. Garcia, please come forward. I'd, I'd like to read the citation. The citation reads as follows. The Bristol Community College Board of Trustees names Fernando J. Garcia, the distinguished citizen for 2009. You are one of the region's most successful businessmen and one of its most fervent champions. As an entrepreneur, when others saw a downturn, you saw opportunity and created robust enterprises that contributed to the growing health of Bristol County. The secret to your success lies deeper than your beer, mere business acumen. You also possess an ardor that is reflected in the charitable service and philanthropy you perform for a variety of community, religious, and cultural organizations. But it is your love for your ancestral roots that makes the cause and concerns of the Luzo community paramount, and you commit considerable energy and time to strengthen the ties between your native and your adopted lands. You embrace, your embrace of Bristol Community College's fledging Luzo Centro opened many doors as the college created the first academic center for the study of Portuguese language and culture in Fall River. You paved roads that would not otherwise have existed without your vision and support. And you engineered opportunities that will reflect the community and our students for generations to come. Engaged, energizing, and empathetic, you are an ambassador for the South Coast who embodies the spirit and the mission of Bristol Community College. By your works and deeds, you make Southeastern Massachusetts a better place to live and learn. Given this 30th day of May 2009 by President John J. Spraga and myself, Don Smith, Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Fernando, thank you so much. Good day. First of all, I want to thank President Sprager, the, the Board of Trustees, and the entire community of Bristol Community College for this great honor. There are many others who deserve it more, but I'm grateful and humbled for it. I want to congratulate the graduates. Forty years ago, I sat where you're sitting today. And as you, and I made it a point to let the relationships, the friendships, 
the, sh the social skills, and everything that I could pick up about being a, a good human being become the conscientious foundation of my life's path, as I'm sure that most of you will do, all of you will do. In brief, it's simple. Who you are is God's gift to you. By helping others, by giving charitably, by really, you know, sharing of yourself and giving people a helping hand, who you become then is your gift to God. Congratulations and a bright future. Thank you. Well, thank you, Fernando, for all you've done for Bristol Community College. You truly is a distinguished citizen of the Commonwealth. Now I'd like to call back to the podium uh, Chairman uh, Donald Smith uh, to authorize the conferral of degrees. I, I just want to say uh, I'm the first person in my family to go to college. And, and I'm also a graduate of a community college, so, and, I, and I'm very proud to say that, and, and I hope you will be too. Graduates, congratulations. This is your moment. You have come to this day through hard work and dedication, and what you have done opens the door to new opportunities. You have not come to this moment alone, however. You have been supported by an outstanding faculty, a devoted staff here at BCC, and friends, family, and fellow students. But it is your effort and your persistence which have brought you to this point. Be proud in all you have accomplished. On behalf of the Bristol College Board of Trustees, I congratulate all of you. Thank you. Now, here's one of the most important parts. As chair of Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, I am honored to authorize Bristol Community College under the powers invested in the Board of by Section 10, Chapter 15A of the General Laws of the Commonwealth to award the Associates in Arts, Associates in Science, Associates in Applied Science degrees, and appropriate certificates to those candidates who, in the judgment of the college, have successfully met the requirements for graduation. Thank you. And now, Vice President of Academic Affairs, Sarah Garrett, will present the candidates. Vice President Garrett. Graduates, this is your moment. Would the candidates for graduation, please rise. <laughs> President Sprague, I have the distinct honor and privilege to present these candidates for the degrees of Associates in Art, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science, and for the certificates. I certify on behalf of the dedicated faculty of Bristol Community College 
that those receiving these degrees and certificates today have completed all the requirements for each program as set forth by the college and the board of trustees. Thank you, Thank you Vice President Garrett. It's now time to award the degrees. Out of courtesy, I ask that all our graduates return to their seats after crossing the stage and remain there until the end of the ceremony. Uh, remember that no diplomas will be distributed in the Commonwealth College Center until the completion of the ceremony. Will the first row of graduates please come to the right side of the stage and the rest of the candidates may be seated. Graduates will cross the stage in the order indicated on the program. We ask family and friends please to move away from the front of the stage to keep the way clear for our graduates and other members of the audience. A professional photographer will capture the graduate as he or she crosses the stage and I will be available at the end of the ceremony in the Commonwealth College Center for other photos as well. Please withhold your applause until the degrees and certificates have been awarded. I don't know why we bother saying that. <laughs> okay, Vice President Garrett. I am pleased to announce graduates of art transfer. Noah J. Brennan, cum laude. <laughs> Ashley Renee Brienzo. Scott Montgomery Burr, summa cum laude. Antoinette M. DeCourcy. Angela DeSpirito, magna cum laude. Don Marks, cum laude. Jessica Raposa, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce graduates of business administration career, Ashney Abernathy. Caitlin Lee Afon, summa cum laude. Chanel Andrews. Mary Borge Tavares, summa cum laude. Michelle Brito, cum laude. Teresa Lazaro Burkett, summa cum laude. Patricia Carrera Raposa. Linda Sestodio, cum laude. Charlene D. Christian, summa cum laude. Scott Allen Davis, cum laude. Lisa Ferreira. Ryan Flannery. Caitlin, Caitlin Faith Green. Barbara Grenier, magna cum laude. Donna Marie Higgins, magna cum laude. <laughs> Teresa Jacobs, magna cum laude. Newman Kareem. Trisha Ann Lemieux. Richard J. Lindsay, Jr. Nelson P. Lopes, magna cum laude. Jason Paul Luciano. Jennifer, 
Janetti Gabriella Luciano, magna cum laude. Julie Ann Marks, magna cum laude. Lin Lindsay Jean Marks, I'm sorry, Lindsay Jean Marks. Tara Medeiros. Miguel. Crystal Ann Miguel. Jeffrey A. Mayoza, magna cum laude. Alfredo Pacheco, cum laude. Gisela Pacheco, cum laude. Stephanie Medeiros Pavo, summa cum laude. Roger Pereira, summa cum laude. Stephanie Pereira. Christine Ann Pimentel, cum laude. Ben Adam Rogmani. Brittany Lee Raposa. Devin Lee Reedy. Jose Santos. Chad Santos. Paul Sergio Souza. Samuel Edward Shetler. Christine Souza. Jeffrey Taylor, cum laude. Jenny Vieira. Monet Nancy Viennes, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of the Business Administration Transfer. Jason Amaral. Kevin Aruda, summa cum laude. Derek Benjamin. Jacob Edward Borges. Cindy Marissa Brown, summa cum laude. Felicia Caetano, magna cum laude. Lisa DeVoe. Suzanne Gauthier, cum laude. I have a skip one at the end of this group, okay? okay. Ryan Guiman, cum laude. Manuel Pena Jr., <laughs> Business Administration Career. <laughs> Sheena Guzman, cum laude. <laughs> Wendy Lynn Hadala, cum laude. <laughs> Sean Edgar Laranda. Karen Marielle Luperon. <laughs> Kelly Megason, summa cum laude. Kimara Peck, summa cum laude. Stephanie Lynn Pina. Allison Renee Polson. Najib Salem. Caitlin, Caitlin Souza. Jacob Valencourt. <laughs> Diogo Azevedo Ventura. <laughs> Thank you.
Courtney Vickery. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Clinical Laboratory Science, Emily Suzette Blaze, summa cum laude, Anne-Marie Chiappini, Corey James Patrick Doyle, Dong Jing Gao, cum laude, Marie LePage, summa cum laude. Adir Lopes, cum laude. Tara. Tara Sylvia, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce graduates of communication, Rachel Bulio. Yeah. Rachel Bulio Dorn. Catherine Valerie Blanchard. <laughs> Samantha Braga. <laughs> Suzette Calvin, summa cum laude. John Jovis, Joseph Castanho. Deborah Coelho, magna cum laude. Maureen Ryan Estes, magna cum laude. Corey Jakes. Christopher Medeiros. Katya Medeiros. Stephen Andrew Rice, magna cum laude. Angeline Shepley, cum laude. Joseph William Sylvia, Jr. Michael James Walzak, Jr. I am pleased to announce the graduates of complementary health care. Tanya Bumpus. Sharitza I. Pena, cum laude. Elena Straw, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Computer Information Systems, Agustina Abro, Amos Blank, Emil Sear, cum laude, Nicholas Amado Domingue, magna cum laude. Christina Jenzikovich, Nicholas Jenkins, Robert Maddy, summa cum laude, Jeffrey Stobin, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of criminal justice, Allison Cabral Almas. June Almeida, magna cum laude. Craig Chirigotis. Paul Michael Corsi, magna cum laude. Tanya Curley. Adelino Mendez Fernandez da Costa, cum laude. Sean Michael DeBrito, cum laude. Brittany B. DeJesus. Gregory Scott Giroux, cum laude. Douglas Michael Harrington, summa cum laude. Nathan W. Hathaway. Michael James Horan III, Carrie D. Jordan, cum laude, Frank Lima, magna cum laude, Jenna Marie Mark, magna cum laude, Michelle McVeigh, magna cum laude, Heather Moniz, 
Dominique Orico, magna cum laude. Kyle Piva. Kyle Vaughn Palmer. Rena Rim, cum laude. Carissa Silva. Quinn Keith Silva. Jacqueline Savara. <laughs> Jacqueline Savara. Michael Summers. Quentin Edward Tavares, cum laude. Ryan Stephen Terriolt, cum laude. Heath Jason Thompson. I am pleased to announce the graduates of culinary arts. Samantha E. Clark, summa cum laude. Jennifer Garcia, Brian Forbes Pellrine, Adam Taylor Sunderland, Alexander A. Tavares, <laughs> Melissa Millie Young, summa cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Deaf Studies Transfer. Melissa Beth Alves, summa cum laude. Marie Connie Carrera, summa cum laude. Erica Marie Rodriguez, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of dental hygiene. Donna M. Allen. Edwige Belazar. Sarah Windsor Bumpus, magna cum laude. Mary Louise de Montigny, magna cum laude. Dana Jocelyn Feinstein, summa cum laude. Hanan, Hanan Fareg, summa cum laude. Jennifer Grover, magna cum laude. Jocelyn Ray Leandro, cum laude. Manal Mogawer, summa cum laude. Vanya Morat Mores, cum laude. <laughs> Laura Lee Paver, magna cum laude. Brandy Perry, cum laude, two degrees, dental hygiene and business administration career. Kathleen Sullivan, cum laude. Melissa Taylor, summa cum laude. Katie Weeks, summa cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of early childhood education. Rebecca Aguiar, summa cum laude. Martha Alvarado, cum laude. Talia Bissett. Hi. Angie Bronco, cum laude. Andrea Louise Buckley, summa cum laude. Michelle Lee Cabral, cum laude. <laughs> Amanda Craffey, cum laude. Isabel Marie Diaz. Jessica Farias, Elizabeth 
McFarland, magna cum laude. Robin M. Fontaine. Jennifer Garo. Johnny Dees Gomez. <laughs> Ashley Johansson. Beverly Kelly, summa cum laude. Joanne Marie McLaughlin, summa cum laude. Felicia Batista Mendonca. Amanda Pyers, cum laude. Melanie Marie Vieira. Ron Vaughn. I am pleased to announce the graduates of elementary education, Joyce Amaral, magna cum laude. Jennifer Carvalho, magna cum laude. Tiffany Lynn Clark. Raquel Concicio. Christy L. Costa, summa cum laude. Laura Doiron, summa cum laude. Shelly A. Fielding. Lisa J. Jamali, cum laude. Christine M. Lapointe, magna cum laude. Diana Malouf, cum laude. Grace Nunez, summa cum laude. Michelle Pacheco, magna cum laude. Anna S. Piedod, cum laude. Ashley L. Pont, summa cum laude. Allison Elizabeth Sheedy, summa cum laude. Sean Patrick O'Malley Stanton. Lisa M. White. I am pleased to announce the graduates of engineering technology. Christopher J. Aruda, magna cum laude. Ross P. Billado. Joshua Bronco. Ashley Marie Brown. Albert Costa, magna cum laude. David Couture, cum laude. Daniel Mark Dalton, cum laude. Jeffrey Freschetta. Danny Gonzalez. Margaret Joan Kugler, summa cum laude. Aaron V. Met. James A. Souza. I am pleased to announce the graduates of engineering transfer. Matthew Davis, magna cum laude. Matthew Ryan Luke, summa cum laude. Fane Lowry, magna cum laude. Kathleen A. Sullivan, magna cum laude. Gary Lewis Willette, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Fire Science Tech. Paul Thomas Hogan, cum laude. 
Jonathan McElroy. Peter John Silva. Anthony Ward, summa cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of General Studies. Jesse L. Agger. Amanda L. Amaral. Amy Beth Andrade, magna cum laude. Fabienne Andre, magna cum laude. Samantha M. Babcock. Kimber Kimberly E. Bels Belskis. <laughs> Sarah Deshaves Borges, magna cum laude. Allison Braley, magna cum laude. Jared Brodier, Neil Patrick Brogan, cum laude, Keith Buchanan, Xiomara Cardona, Melissa E. Casavant. Kate A. Chirigotis. Lauren A. Cruz. Jessica N. Disparito, cum laude. Neosa M. Do Nascimento, magna cum laude. Josepha. Estrella, magna cum laude. Okay. Kendra Evangelo, General Studies in Pre-Radiology Technology. Chad Farland, General Studies in Therapeutic Massage. Jessica Lynn Freer. Melissa Ann Furtado. Sarah Elizabeth Golden. Tiari Lee Gomes, cum laude. Anelde N. Gonzalez. Brandon Habib, cum laude. Shana Helfenbin, cum laude. Renee Jocelyn Hooker, magna cum laude. April Marie Jewett. Shauna Marie Madeiras Jones, magna cum laude. Lucas Lambert. Jennifer Langless. Jonathan Lanou, cum laude. Sherry M. Lavalley, summa cum laude. Joseph Anthony Livramento, magna cum laude. Matthew Lomas. Brittany Starr Lonergan. Courtney Lynn Maceo, cum laude. Nicole A. McAllister. Crystal Ann Michael, magna cum laude. Solange Nascimento, cum laude. Amy Lynn O'Brien, cum laude. Carol Ann Ostrowski, magna cum laude. Carlo Pabo, cum laude. 
Christine Paz. Alicia Lilico, summa cum laude. Felicia M. Fanuf. Jessica Picard. Caitlin Nadine Pierce. Rachel O. Platt, cum laude. Mariah, told me, told me. Mariah Tommy Ramos, magna cum laude. Jeremy G. Ratcliffe. Elise, Elise N. Rocha. Ryan Rose. Richard Patrick Sanford. Rick, Jacob L. Saller, cum laude. Cassie L. Santos, summa cum laude. Allison J. Serio. Natasha Ann Simpson, cum laude. Judy Soy, magna cum laude. Hi. Shannon Whitehead. Kendall Wood. Hi. I am pleased to announce the graduates of healthcare information. Jody Barron, cum laude. Daniel Wayne Conway. Marina Rago. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Human Services. Glennis Carolina Arias. Angela Barla, summa cum laude. Heather Branco. Jessica Calderon, cum laude. Neoma, Naomi Cardona. Christy L. Diller, summa cum laude. Jada Duarte, magna cum laude. Jose? Jose P. Fernandez. Heidi Marie Gadboys, magna cum laude. Brandy Lee Gaudet. Crystal Legauzi, magna cum laude. Carrie Jane McQuinn, cum laude. Amy Morgado. Taniki Morgan, summa cum laude. Shoshana Raposa, cum laude. Alexandra Del Carmen Santana. Suzanne Sibilia, cum laude. Angela D. Therian, cum laude. Natasha Vera. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Vanessa Lynn Andrade. Joseph M. Aruda, summa cum laude. Jennifer Lynn Barbero, magna cum laude.
Diane Qualia Beltran, summa cum laude. <laughs> Stephanie T. Botello, magna cum laude. <laughs> Stephen Botello, magna cum laude. <laughs> Tracy Bowman. <laughs> Kelly Ann Cabral, summa cum laude. Andrea E. Canada, magna cum laude. Thank you, Brad and James Petty. <laughs> Amanda Carrera, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Carrera. <laughs> Tiffany Cerber Chu. <laughs> Jamie Durr, summa cum laude. Daniel Dupuy, Jr., magna cum laude. <laughs> Stacy Estacio. Courtney Fernandez. Hi, baby. <laughs> Marissa Duarte Fernandez, magna cum laude. Maria Furtado, cum laude. Megan E. Garcia, magna cum laude. Emma Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Our valid Victorian Tyler Robert Hill, summa cum laude. <laughs> Kara Nicole Hood, summa cum laude. Mary C. Hyde, summa cum laude. Leanne Jameson. Amanda, Amanda Ashley George. Carrie Ann L. Krasick, summa cum laude. Kelsey LaPlante, cum laude. Chandler Lawton, cum laude. LeBeau. Chantal Lucy LeBeau, magna cum laude. Stacy Ann LeBlanc, magna cum laude. Paul J. Latender, cum laude. Jacqueline R. Maloney. Marcia Mendez. Anna Catherine Martin. Monica Martins. Shannon E. Mercer. Brianna C. Paquin, summa cum laude. Jessica L. Pavo, summa cum laude. Stephanie Lynn Pullen, magna cum laude. Bethany Ramos, cum laude. Marcia Marie Ramos, summa cum laude. Bethany A. Raposa. Rawad H. Sarkis. Allison Marie Schrader. Kelly C. Souza. Taylor C. D. St. Pierre, summa cum laude. 
Jerry Manuel Texera, cum laude. Marie Vasquez. Heather Wheaton. Matthew Woods, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of nursing. Jason C. Almiron, cum laude. Joyce Ann C. Almiron. Abigail, Abigail V. Baggerly. Emily A. Cochran. Renee M. Costa. Kyle Matthew Gallant, cum laude. There's my nurses. Christy Lee Gasson. Courtney E. Pelletier, cum laude. My nurses. Erica Prue, cum laude. Kimberly Rio, cum laude. Lauren E. Sharrick, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Occupational Therapy Assisting. Vanessa Andrade, cum laude. Jennifer Lynn Bergeron, magna cum laude. Susan Booten, cum laude. Margarita M. Brabant, magna cum laude. Heidi M. Burgo. Lisa Cooney, magna cum laude. Heather Leanne Geary, magna cum laude. Melissa M. Lavoie. Kimberly A. Little, magna cum laude. Carrie Lynn Owen, magna cum laude. J Jillian Christine Zindler. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Office Administration. Amy Campbell, magna cum laude. Marcia Regina Costa. Melissa Lynn Demideros. Anne M. Halstead. <laughs> Holly Lynn Halstead. <laughs> Nicole Montill. Hi again. Elizabeth A. Morin. Crystal Taylor, magna cum laude. Tanya Inventora. I am pleased to announce graduates of accounting certificate. Denise Edwards. Anna M. Hattup. Aaron L. Seal. Monica Aruda. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Early Childhood Education Certificate. Jessica Lee Soares Lopes. No, I bet I get water. I just need to wipe my forehead. Okay. Hannah Bogle. Is this Winona? 
I am pleased to announce the graduates of Graphic Design Certificate, Winona B. Clark Smith. Maurice Durrett, Jr. I am pleased to announce the graduates of the Law Enforcement Certificate, Manuel B. Almeida. Timothy T. Desrosiers. Teresa M. Viveros. I am pleased to announce the graduates of the Medical Administrative Practices Certificate, Karen M. Souza. I am pleased to announce the graduate of the Medical Assisting Certificate, Deborah Coelho. Desiree Damaso, Julie Virginia Foster, Lucia Medeiros, Kristen Paveo, Ashley A. Sanford. I am pleased to announce the graduates of the Medical Coding Billing Certificate, Doreen Aruda, Danielle Haley Coble, Tony Ann Kuto, Rebecca DeMello. Deborah Ann Florent, Everton J. Foster, Brittany Hilario, <laughs> Celia Maria Martins, Nancy Willett. Frederick A. Reardon, Tiffany N. Rigo, Heather S. Wilson. I'm pleased to announce the graduates of Medical Transcription Certificate, Crystal Garside, Barbara Massey, Christine J. Stewart. I'm pleased to announce the graduates of Office Support Certificate, Marianne Vidal. I'm pleased to announce the graduates of the Portuguese English Community Interpreting Certificate, Natalia, Natalia Aruda. Estella A. Barros. Helen Marks, Fatima Silva Carrera, Liliana G. Melo, Vanessa Seco Riboka. I am pleased to announce the graduates of the Small Business and Entrepreneurial Management Certificate, Charles T. Wilson. I am pleased to announce the graduates of the Thanatology Certificate, Brittany Coelho, Chad Nunez. Danielle Porter, Crystal Rhodes, 
Jennifer L. Terry. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Therapeutic Massage Certificate, Elizabeth M. Boulay. <laughs> she loves you too. <laughs> Benjamin J. Ferreira. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The class of 2009. have one last graduate, our trustee, ladies and gentlemen, Gloria Sadler, magna cum laude, general studies, Gloria Sadler. Please be seated. Today, as you graduate from Bristol Community College, you become members of an active and esteemed organization, the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. And here to welcome you as full members of the association is Nancy Rosario, class of 1989, president of the BCC Alumni Association. Nancy Rosario. You've done it. The day is almost done. Good afternoon. I am Nancy Rosario, president of the Bristol Community College Alumni Association and 1989 graduate of the nursing program. I can't believe that it was 20 years ago I was sitting right where you're sitting with my family and my daughter looking on and feeling so proud and emotional, just like you are. You've done it. Look around. Remember those friendships you made. Remember those walks around this beautiful campus, reflecting on what was going on. I'm just talking to your friends. They're standing around, just waiting for class to start. You remember standing with those friends after all that important test and wondering whether you failed or not because you didn't have the same answers as the person next to you. Remember those late nights, or I should say early mornings, when you had those phone calls for words of encouragement and going over those care plans to make sure you didn't forget anything. Yes, nursing grads, you never forget those care plans. As you remember your times here at BCC, remember this is where your careers have started. This is where your future endeavors are beginning. And the Alumni Association is here for you to volunteer your time, to let us know what's happening in your lives, weddings, marriage, births, and future employment. And don't forget to give back to your alumni. Our association is very important for days like today. As you are now able to carry the alumni torch to enlighten others about our great college, I and approximately 30,000 others 
welcome you, the graduating class of 2009, to the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. Thank you, Nancy. Before we have the recessional, I want to invite you to join us at a reception in the Commonwealth College Center immediately following these exercises. Graduates may pick up their diplomas in the cafeteria, and I will be available for photographs uh, in a special section in the cafeteria. Remember that today our gorgeous Grimshaw Goodowitz Art Gallery is open and features all media juried exhibition. The gallery is right behind us. It is an opportunity to showcase works by local artists from around the region. I invite you and your guests to visit the gallery and enjoy this wonderful exhibit. In addition, tomorrow afternoon, we will continue the celebration with a family-oriented, fun-filled event from 1 to 5 p.m. right here in the tent to promote the art. Many par partners in the community, including the Fall Rivers Children's Museum and the Massachusetts Cultural Council, are assisting with this celebration. Beginning at 1 o'clock, the Spindle City Ballet will perform. At 2 o'clock, a Pops concert with the Fall Rivers Symphony Orchestra. And at 3.30, bluegrass music will be featured. Bring your picnic lunches and blankets, or if you prefer, stay right here under the tent. Enjoy a wonderful afternoon as we celebrate this whole weekend. This event is free and open to all, so I hope you can come back tomorrow and enjoy the music under the tent. I ask that you please stand and remain standing until the recessional is complete and all graduates have left the tent. I now declare a close to these proceedings of the 42nd Annual Commencement Exercise of Bristol Community College. Congratulations. Thank you.